everyone, it's Carrie over at DoubleClick. Welcome back to my craft room. Today I'm joining in the hashtag Stampin' Sunday hosted by Themo Hall and Paula at Craft and by the Pond. I will link both of their channels down below. Here is the project that I created. This hashtag has really inspired me to pull out my stamps and start using them and I had so much fun creating this card. I love it so much. It's so kind of wonky and, and out there. Let me show you the products that I use. To stamp this goat, I did double stamp him and I used some foam tape to pop him up. I used this stamp and die set. This is the stamp. These are the dies. There he is right there. And lightly in the background, I stamped these clocks. And I did stamp a hand back there. I ended up covering some of it when I started adding my layers. For that, I used this stamp and die set. I used this clock and this hand. I decided to add this hat and this tie. And I used these stamps. Here's the hat and here's the tie. And what I did with these, I stamped them on some brown paper and I fed it through my brother's scanning cut and had it cut the images out and it cut so nicely. And then I just used a razor and cut the hat so it could sit on him. And for the tie, I added some stickles to make it stick out. For the background paper, which was what I based my card theme off of, was these hands in the air. That paper is from this old Seven Gypsies paper. I've used this actually recently for several projects. I really thought these hands with him above it was so funny. So that's the paper from that. All these other papers, I used a bunch of scraps that I had in my Tim Holtz box and I just kind of cut them apart and use them. To make layering on the card, I had this in my stash, and I also have a couple of rolls of washi with the vintage look, so I did use some washi tape as well. Little fastener clip. Up here, this is some Tim Holt, I think it's like burlap. What I did was I saw an ad on, I think it was Instagram, where they were using rub-ons on this type of material, and I was like, hmm, I wonder if that works, and it does. So I had these pink paisley rub-ons in my stash forever. I put it on just like I would on paper, but on this fabric. And it's stuck and it stays on. And I think that's so cool because I have a whole drawer full of these rub-ons. So we have that. And then I did use glossy accents for inside his eyeglasses to give him that extra glassy look. Super happy with how it came out. I thank you guys so much for stopping by. Have a great day. Bye, guys.